Hello, I'm Peter Kiesel. I work with uh, Park, a Xerox company, maybe better known as Xerox Park from the old days. That's a place where the uh, laser printer, the graphical user interface or the Ethernet has been invented. I'm principal scientist at PARC and my focus of my research is around compact optical sensing systems. In one of our projects uh, called Sensor Project, it's funded under the RPE AMPED program, we are putting a fiber optical sensing system inside uh, of uh, battery cells in order to get more information about the battery, which you can send feedback into battery management system in order to make them more uh, effective. Currently, you don't have enough knowledge about uh, the state of the battery, st uh, state of charge and state of health. Therefore, you have to be a uh, limit your range which you're using in order to not run to in a dangerous situation. Because if you overcharge or undercharge a battery, then you're coming this in these areas where you have electrolyte decomposition or whether the electrodes are cracking or whether you have dendrite formation on top of the electrodes which can then uh, uh, go into a thermal runaway. Basically shortcut the electrodes. Currently at the moment when you are thinking about a battery, the people are measuring from outside the voltage, the current and the temperature from outside. And they don't learn anything from what's really going on inside of the battery. And the only sensor which you can imagine is small enough to go inside for this particular application is a fiber sensor. A, a fiber optic sensor is thin like your hair, uh, only about, yeah, depending on what time, 80 microns or 100 or 150 micrometers thick. So this is a sensor which you can really, and the fiber itself is a sensor, and it's a sensor where you can really realistically place between uh, the electrode stacks in a t uh, type of a lithium ion uh, battery in order to extract information. Currently, fiber optic sensors, let me come to one uh, prominent example, the fiber break rating sensors. You're using uh, UV interference pattern, for example, in order to inscribe the uh, break grating. Break rating is nothing else than a small band mirror, and uh, if you heat the location or stretch the location, then the periodicity of the um, yeah, refractive index modulation is changing and therefore the reflected peak is slightly moving and that's what you measure. And in, in the case of this battery sensing, it, uh, most of our current results uh, are based on temperature and um, strain sensing. And can you imagine if you have a lithium ion battery that it's charging or discharging means the lithium ions moving from one electrode to the other one and if they're getting intercalated in this uh, electrode or in this electrode, the electrodes are swelling. You basically can measure the breathing of the electrodes with it. Or you can also see specific temperature changes which occur due to endothermic or exothermic reaction due to the, uh, while the, um, yeah, the chemical uh, process, electrochemical process. The nice thing of this technology is uh, adding a few more sensors doesn't cost anything anymore. That means if you have such a fiber optic sensing system in a car, you can think about also doing the current sensing uh, or some vibration sensing or outside temperature or chemical sensing. You could do everything then with uh, the fiber optic sensing system. With Park, we are, we are getting our motivation both from uh, the business impact and also from the scientific impact. And of course, you, you're getting basically your satisfaction as a scientist from both a Sides, yeah, to seeing, but of course the biggest impact is, well, seeing at the end something used in a commercial product.